Welcome back everyone. It is hot and it is windy out there and a wind advisory is in effect for Willisie and Cameron counties both until six o'clock this evening. We expect winds today for the lower valley to be from the south to southeast between 25 to 35 miles per hour with gusts of 40 miles an hour. So if you're driving especially in the lower valley today, uh, please be careful and use uh, grip the wheel with both hands because those winds will continue. And speaking of the winds right of the south to southeast between 16 to 24, even 30 miles an hour with a gust of 35 in Brownsville, 38 miles an hour in Port Isabel and 35 in Harlingen. We've been seeing mostly sunny skies for the late morning hours. A lot of sunshine will continue for this afternoon. And look at the hot temperatures right now. 91 degrees in Raymondville, 95 in Edinburgh, 92 in Rio Grande City, 92 here in Westlaco, and 90 in Brownsville. Grab the lemonade because it is a hot one for this afternoon. A lot of sunshine. Wow, 99 degrees at 3 p.m., 95 at 6 p.m., and 87 degrees at 9 p.m. That breezy weather still sticks around for this evening. And we'll have high temperatures today in the triple digits for places like McAllen and the Upper Valley. Special Olympics Texas continues uh, for tomorrow. Today's high temperature 99 in Westlaco and 102 on Saturday under mostly sunny skies. Here's a surface map. We have one cold front draped over West Texas and southern New Mexico. While we are baking in the heat here in the valley, they are seeing snow in the mountains of northern New Mexico, uh, north of Santa Fe, shown in the white. We'd like to see some cooler weather, but we'd have to wait for at least another 48 hours. It's going to be scorching hot for tomorrow. Then that front finally arrives by Sunday morning. Warm front pushing through the Dallas-Fort Worth area at this time. And look at the temperatures. Ahead of the front, we're in the 80s in places like San Antonio, Laredo, Houston, and Austin. Behind the front, only 65 degrees in Amarillo and 79 degrees in Odessa, right where the front is. So here is future track. Front continues southward into central and south Texas for tonight and tomorrow. Now tomorrow we have high temperatures in the triple digits. It should stay dry for us in the valley tomorrow and really for Sunday. For Sunday at most, maybe an early isolated shower in the morning. But after a scorcher on Saturday, it'll be cooler and much less humid on Sunday behind the front. So it's going to feel much nicer for Sunday with high temperatures back in the 80s. There are better chance of showers and thunderstorms this weekend toward North Texas and Southeast Texas. And it'll feel much, much nicer by Sunday night as low temperatures dip into the 50s. Cooler, much less humid Monday morning. The temperatures warm up for Tuesday and Wednesday. Then another front should arrive here in the valley by early Thursday morning. This may give us a little better chance of some showers and thunderstorms Thursday, and then it's slightly cooler once again for Thursday into Friday. Folks, we have a very loud uh, parrot here in the studio with our animal segment coming up next. That's why you heard the, a bird screech. We've got winds out of the south of 20 to 40 miles an hour on the water. Bay waters are rough chop. Small craft advisory continues until 7 p.m. for the bay waters, but that small craft advisory continues until tomorrow evening for the Gulf waters. The seas are 5 to 8 feet. Today's forecast, it's hot, it's sunny, it's windy. 99 degrees, the high temperatures. And for tonight, still breezy, some patchy clouds with a low temperature of 77. Here's that seven day forecast. Wow, 102 tomorrow, mostly sunny skies for your Saturday, but then cooler on Sunday with a high of only 85 degrees. It's also breezy and much less humid. And look at that, down to 58 degrees by Sunday night and Monday morning. The highs return to the 90s Tuesday and Wednesday, then cooler once again by next Thursday. That's your first Warren 5 forecast. Now here's Dina.